Hello everyone, this is Blue Save, I brought something to you here, back again with your video and today I'm going to be doing something kind of different because the majority of my videos were all just match previews or match reviews but obviously because the season's all done and dusted, there isn't going to be any for a while The other day, um, I did a video ranking all my seasons as a Rangers fan from worst to best, go watch it if you haven't seen it, if you want to I suppose but today I'm going to be doing a showcase of all the football kits that I have and yes I know not all of my Rangers kits but I just thought I'd show some other football club kits that I have just because why not, just for the sake of it so yeah, so let's start over here. So the first one is this away kit uh, from I think like the 80s. I don't actually know what season it's from, but it's an away kit. I got it um, for Christmas in like 2019. It's an old kit. Uh, it's McEwen's Lager one, red and white, as you can see. And then the next one, I have the third kit from this season. It's very nice. I really dig the black and orange um, colours. Uh, the away kit, I mean the home kit for this season is nice, the away kit, like the black and white ones are I suppose, but this, this one here I really do dig, black and orange, like the colour, it's very fancy. And then next up I have the Man City home kit from the 17 season, the century, the season they won the league with 100 points, they also won the league cup that, uh, that season. I bought that as a Christmas present for 2000, uh, in 2017. And next up I have the Rangers kit from the 2016, 17 and 17 18 season. I, I don't wear much just simply because of the fact it's from two absolutely horrific seasons. But I also had an old version, uh, an old, like the same kit as this, but it wasn't the exact same one. I had an old kit of this, which I got for Christmas in the 16 back. I can't remember what happened. I might have just gotten too small for me or something. So then I got another one of these in for my birthday, um, my 14th birthday in 2018. But like I said, I, just, I hardly wear it simply just because of the fact it's from two absolutely horrific seasons. And next up, I have a Man City retro kit from I think like the. 90s or early 2000s or something like that, I don't really know, but it's a brother sponsor, it used to be my, it used to be my brother's kit, but he, and then he gave it to me, and next up we have the Barcelona home kit from the 16-17 season, I got this during the 16-17 season, um, again it doesn't have a sponsor on it because I was only like 12 years old when I got it, so I wasn't old enough to get um, the sponsored version, so yeah, and next up I have the map. Well, I don't know. Well, that has a sponsor. Okay, I don't really know, to be honest. I don't know why that one didn't have a sponsor, but... Right, so in here, I have the Man City, I think, away or third kit from the 16-17 season. And then I have this kit. It's the Rangers home kit from the 18-19 season, which was Steven Gerrard's first season at the club, and also the first season which Hummel started designing our kits. And it also has my name in the back of it. Well, it has Meyer, as you can see. It has Meyer number nine. I know it's a bit messed. The nine's a bit messed up. It's a bit ripped. I think it's just because... When I put it in the wash, the, the number got a bit ripped, as you can see. But uh, yeah, so I've got my number, I've got number nine. And yeah. And next up, I have the 1984 League Cup final shirt where Rangers beat Celtic 3, I think 3-2 three, three it was. Um, and I bought that with my Christmas money from 2019. And on the back of it, I got McCoist because he scored all three goals for Rangers that game. And... But for some reason, he was actually wearing number eight that game. I think it's because he was playing midfield. But I mean, even as, even if he was like, well, he's a, his main position was striker, but he was in, he was playing midfield for some reason. But I mean, he's still a striker. Isn't he? His main position was number nine. So I, I got so I got number nine because I just assumed he would have worn number nine that game because he's a striker. But now for some reason, he wore number eight that game. But I just got number nine. Just assume I just assumed he would have worn number nine. And next up, I have the Dortmund home kit from last season, his nine twenty season. Um, I got that for my fifteenth birthday in two thousand nineteen. And then next up, I have the Rangers home kit from the 2019-20 uh, season, the one from the last season. I got this with my birthday money in 2000, sorry, 2019. Um, yeah, it has 32 red on it. Hummel, um, the Rangers logo, and yeah, no name of it in the back. But, and then next up, I have the home kit from this season, the season we won 55. Um, a nice shirt. I, um, I guess I could have washed it at the store. Like the bit where it says Castor came off a bit and slightly ripped, but I mean, I still, I'm still, I still wear it a lot. It's a nice kit, and I'm also getting the champion shirt. I think that's coming the first of June. So, yeah. And next up, I have the Man City home kit from this season. The season they've also won the Premier League. Um, look, the first thing I think of when it, it looks like a, a sort of swimming pool, swimming pool vibe when you look at it. Uh, no name. Oh, actually, in fact, I do have a name in the back of it. I got Meyer in the back of this. I got number eight. So yeah, and then next up I have the classic 96-97 Rangers kit. The season we won nine in a row. I really do like this kit. Really classic, really nice. From an amazing season as well. And on the back of it I have Loudrup and number 11. The reason why I got Brian Loudrup, well, Loudrup on the back of it, 
is because he scored the winning goal to seal his line in a row back in 1997 when we beat Dundee United 1-0. Uh, Tanner Dice, he scored the famous header to win Rangers in a row. And then lastly, I have the Barcelona home kit from last season, Royal Team, uh, sponsored by Nike. Uh, I got this for Christmas in 2019 and no, I don't even fit the back. So yeah, that pretty much does it. Just doing something different just because I've got no match reviews and match re reviews to do. So I just thought I'd try something different. So yeah, that pretty much does it. If you like the video, leave a like and I'll see you all next time.